Hello, preppers, crazy people, and people that just happen to randomly click on this thumbnail. Um, I'm here to talk about the stigma that's been going around since this election started about our community, okay? Because it's it kind of a grind of my gears kind of thing. This is an unscripted rant. So I apologize if I go off on a ramble. I did a political live the other day where we discussed which parties could be beneficial to preppers and none of them really are offering anything specific that would help us out that like other european countries are offering when it comes to helping people be prepared at home obviously the government just launched that be prepared site with saying stock three days or they've changed it recently to a few days of food water and supplies like that so there's a minuscule effort from the conservative party that's in power at the moment because of the current climate of the world but no one's put that into the manifestos, nobody's put anything about that in there. When approaching these political parties, which I've done directly, um, none of them seem to want to speak to you at all. We are a fringe group as preppers, but this fringe group is getting larger and larger. And my channel is a testament to that. I've not been going a fraction of the time that a lot of prepper channels have gone, and we've grown to over 3,000 people so far, as well as a successful forum off the back of that. So this group is getting bigger, and we do have genuine concerns. These are not right-wing concerns. These are not crazy right-wing theories or anything like that so it annoys me that we get stamped with this kind of brush i put um a poll out about voting to the prepping community who you're going to vote for and it was quite mixed across the board we had a clear front runner with reform um, a lot of people were none of the above but between the rest of the parties it was quite an even split so you don't just get complete right-wing people, complete left-wing people within this community. We attract all walks of life. Why? Because it's a logical thing to do. Everyone is a prepper in some form or another. They've got plasters in a box. Why have you got that? You're not bleeding right now. That's because you're prepared for something that might happen. OK, so whether you're at that level or you're at I've got a full on nuclear shelter level, you're a prepper in some way. It's just the stigma of the word has been polluted by crazy, idiotic YouTubers, TV shows, things like that. All right. So, no, we are not right wing. OK, some of us may be. But we're a mixed community, a mixed bag. And let's be fair, when it comes to whoever gets in power, whether it's the party you support, whether it's the party you don't support, nothing will drastically change because of that. Things may drastically change over the next 12 months, a year, five years. Fair enough. But because of who you vote in, I don't think it's going to drastically change. Someone might give you a bit more money in your pocket so you can prep more. Someone might do something for the public. So we've got public shelters. I don't know. It, it's a roll of the dice these days with uh, British politics. And with our first past the post kind of thing, it's just, we know we the result is almost inevitable before we've even gone to the polls. But all we can do is try. With regards to fear mongering, I've been jumped on this week because I put a survey up saying, when do you think nuclear weapons will be used in a conflict? Now, I did not say directly against the UK. I did not give you the option of it has to happen. There was an option of never. We all hope it's never. The reason for putting this poll up is I'm gathering information. This information goes towards the shows we do on Sundays or on prepper podcasts, and we can say we can know what you as a community are thinking. So if you see one of my polls, please actively take part. I will try and put an option in there for everyone's thinking. But that's not a reason to just jump on straight away with a comment saying, oh, you're a fear monger, you're doom and gloom, and you're manifesting this. It's just ridiculous. No logical prepper, no reasonable prepper wants anything to happen. They never want to use their preps, okay? Okay. Use them in practice, use them in training, use them as an exercise and as a hobby, 
But nobody wants to be forced to use them in the SHTF situation. Nobody's praying for Tio to whack here so they can become sort of some sort of homesteading god that everyone looks to. There is a small minority, maybe, but it is what it is. It is a minority. We prepare for the worst, but we hope for the best. Nobody wants this to happen. I want years of prosperity and good times and holidays and going abroad and enjoying time with my friends and enjoying prepping as a hobby and knowing that it's there. This is what I pray for. This is what I want to manifest. Okay? So the fear mongers, the best thing you can do to help the prepping community is do not watch. Make the effort to unsubscribe to these people that are building this fear and this hate because no matter how much you say, well, I've got, I'm have got, i subscribed, but I don't watch them anymore, the odd thumbnail will still come up. It will still pique your interest. You will still click on it. You will still get that dose of that fear-mongering prepping, okay? There is loads and loads of prepping channels out there, some much bigger than I am, some much smaller than I am, some just starting out but you can very quickly get a feel of the type of person and the type of thinker they are and use that as your base for logical, sensible prepping. That's it. That's all I wanted to come on and say about my rant. So we're not right-wing nutters. We're not tinfoil hat crazy conspiracy theorists. We are just people that want to look after ourselves and our family and not have to rely on an unstable government to do so. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, loads of videos coming all the time, daily, weekly, whatever. We get as much out as we can when we can. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.